Welcome into the Two Minute Drill here inside the Auburn Tigers. Jason Caldwell and Mark Murphy from inside the Auburn Tigers magazine newsletters and AUTigers.com. And Mark, uh, hard to find a, a more uh, fitting place here in, in Nashville than uh, the Opryland Hotel. And uh, as the Tigers get ready to face Purdue in the Music City Bowl um, Friday, this is a Mark, a, it's an important game when you look at it for Auburn. And normally you go, hey, it's seven and five, six and six, not not a not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. But when you look at the way this season's gone for Auburn. Gus Malzahn back calling plays for the Tigers and the offensive coordinator kind of settling in a little bit. This is a chance for Auburn to, to get off 2019 on the right foot. I agree. I think it's a more important game for Gus Malzahn and Auburn than it is for Purdue. You know, of course, Purdue doesn't want to have a losing record, but uh, Jeff Brom uh, just uh, agreed to stay at Purdue, and I know he's in very high standing with the Boilermaker fans. There's a bunch of them here in Nashville, Jason. Uh, I think there's probably going to be a pretty good crowd there with – you know, there might even be more uh, Purdue fans at Nissan Stadium on uh, Friday. So that's going to be interesting to see. Um, what is also going to be interesting to see is just how effective Auburn's offense is with Gus Malzahn totally calling the plays, totally calling the game plan. Now, he's called some plays particularly late in the season, a lot of plays, but he hasn't been totally in charge of the game plan. Yeah, and I think you look at it, one of the things that's interesting is this Purdue defense has struggled at times. Uh, not a great team up front physically. I, I just wonder now, will we see Gus Malzahn and Auburn really try to focus on the ground game, try to get physical? You know, that's what he likes to do. I wonder if we'll see a more and bigger emphasis on the ground game against Purdue. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see that happen at all. I think that's going to happen. I think the running backs are healthy. You know, I asked him about that at his press conference uh, today, and uh, he didn't want to talk a whole lot about it. He talked about as little as possible. To me, that means um, he's really thinking about running the football a lot on Saturday. and He's going to be doing it against a uh, Purdue defensive front that's missing some key guys. So I think that's something to watch. Yeah, and then on the other side, um, boy, Kevin Steele, this, this defense has his hands full for you. When you look at Rondell Moore, David Blau, the quarterback, uh, they can they can score points in bunches. Uh, we heard from the coordinators today, and, and uh, you know, you, when you think about it, Brian Brom, Jeff Brom, those two guys together, he said, hey, we got as many bullets as we need in the playbook, uh, probably more than we need. Auburn's going to have to face a ton of different looks, formations, plays, trick play. They're going to throw the whole book at Auburn, on, and it's going to be a difficult challenge for this defense. Yeah, given uh, the Brahms' extra time to prepare for a defense, it's going to be a real challenge uh, for Kevin Steele and his guys. And, uh, you know, I've been impressed with Brahm for years, Jason, as a uh, play caller, and uh, I think we'll see why on Friday. Yeah, so it should be a lot of fun, Mark. Uh, obviously a very intriguing game and uh, one that uh, Auburn needs to play well to, uh, to jumpstart 2019. Jason Caldwell and Mark Murphy inside the Auburn Tigers. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, about 320.